ancient structures challenge our understanding of the past. These constructions challenge our beliefs about ancient human abilities. But how were they built? We explore these mysteries and discover how these prehistoric structures that seem impossible to build were made. Number 1. In the greenery of County Meath, Ireland, lies Newgrange, a Neolithic tomb older than Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids. Built around 3200 BC, it is part of the Bruna Boin complex, a world heritage site that also includes the tombs of Nauth and Douth. Newgrange is a large circular mound surrounded by stones engraved with megalithic art. The structure measures 85 meters wide and 12 meters high, and was built with approximately 200,000 tons of earth and stone from far flung locations such as the Mourne Mountains in Wicklow. In the center of Newgrange, there is a stone passage leading to a cruciform chamber used to bury burned and unburned human bones, suggesting their use in funerary rites. The passage is aligned to capture the winter solstice sunrise through a roof box, flooding the interior chamber with sunlight and highlighting the astronomical importance of the tomb. Archaeologists believe that Newgrange served a religious or ceremonial purpose, underlined by its complex art and architectural sophistication. The facade, predominantly made of white quartz boulders, and the presence of a surrounding stone circle further accentuated ceremonial importance. The site's historical significance is deepened by its role in Irish mythology, believed to be a home to deities such as the Dagda and his son Angus. Mythological narratives indicate that Newgrange was not just a monument, but a central figure in stories of sovereignty and divinity, where the heavenly and terrestrial kingdoms met. Archaeological studies, especially those of Michael J. O'Kelly between 1962 and 1975, have been crucial in revealing the secrets of Newgrange. O'Kelly's reconstructions, such as restoring the front of the tomb to facilitate visitor access, although controversial, have helped preserve this ancient structure. Furthermore, Newgrange's art, with its engravings of spirals, arches and geometric patterns, shows an advanced understanding of design and symbolism. These engravings, mainly on the entrance stone and gunnel stones, are believed to have ritual significance beyond the decorative. Number 2. Sexaywaman, on the northern outskirts of Cusco, Peru, is a massive complex rising to an altitude of 3,701 meters. Built in the 15th century under the leadership of the Sapa Inca Pacacutec and his successors, Sacsayhuaman's architectural achievements continue to raise questions about the capabilities of prehistoric civilizations. The structure is famous for its colossal dry stone walls composed of enormous blocks cut so precisely that they fit together perfectly without the need for mortar. The precision is such that not even a piece of paper can slip between many of the stones. This technique not only highlights the Inca's advanced understanding of masonry, but also their ability to manipulate large stones to withstand the seismic activity that frequently shakes the region. The largest stone is estimated to weigh almost 200 tons and the question remains, how are they transported and carved with such precision using the limited technology available in that period? The fortress's strategic location on a steep hill offers a commanding view of the Cusco Valley, suggesting its use as a military stronghold. However, the complexity and elegance of the stonework suggest that it also had a significant ceremonial role. The extensive plaza and large terraces with zigzag walls that imitate the teeth of a puma, along with the site's alignment with celestial events, show its spiritual importance to the Incas. The construction of Sacsayhuaman is notable considering that Inca builders primarily used bronze or stone tools. The Incas shaped the enormous stones with such precision that the walls have withstood centuries of natural disasters. Modern experiments, such as those at Denislin, have attempted to replicate the precision of the Inca masons, but achieving the accuracy of the stone joints remains difficult, increasing the mystery of their construction methods. Over the centuries, Sacsayhuaman has suffered looting and destruction, 
especially during the Spanish conquest, when many stones were reused to build the colonial city of Cusco. Today, only the largest stones remain, too heavy to be moved, allowing us to imagine the original grandeur of Sacsayhuaman. In the modern era, Sacsayhuaman has become a symbol of cultural pride. It is the setting for Indy Raimi, the Inca Winter Solstice Festival, which attracts thousands of tourists and locals who come to see Inca tradition and pay homage to the engineering of their ancestors. Number 3. Tia Tehuacan. Located in the valley of Mexico 40 kilometers northeast of modern Mexico City, Tia Tehuacan is a testament to the architectural prowess and urban planning of ancient Mesoamerican civilizations. Renowned for its monumental pyramids, such as the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, Teotihuacan was not built by the Mexica, influencing far beyond its borders through trade, especially in obsidian tools, and culturally through its architectural innovations. And artistic. The city was founded around 100 BC, with construction of its main monuments continuing until approximately 250 AD. However, around 550 AD, the city experienced significant destruction and was abandoned during the 6th and 8th centuries, possibly due to extreme weather events between 535 and 536. The urban design of Teotihuacan centered on the Avenue of the Dead, connecting the main ceremonial and administrative sites, including the pyramids. The Pyramid of the Sun, one of the largest in Mesoamerica, rises to more than 66 meters and was built with 3 million tons of stone, without metal tools, wheels, or draft animals. The construction techniques used by the Teotihuacans are not yet fully understood. The pyramids had a board slope structure, with alternating inclined and vertical panels, providing stability and an impressive visual appearance. Internally, they were built with rubble, adobe bricks, and a layer of lime plaster, which allowed them to resist the earthquakes common in the region. Despite its size and planning, there is no clear evidence of a centralized monarchy, suggesting that the city may have been a theocratic or collective state, evidenced by the lack of royal iconography and the predominance of communal religious symbolism. Teotihuacan's influence spread throughout Mesoamerica as evidenced by artifacts found in distant places such as the Mayan lands and the Gulf Coast. After its decline, Teotihuacan influenced later civilizations, such as the Aztecs, who considered it the birthplace of the gods. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that attracts millions of visitors to admire its pyramids and culture. Despite archaeological studies, many aspects of Teotihuacan remain mysterious, including the reasons for its decline and the ethnicity of its inhabitants. Number 4. Baibazin is a mysterious archaeological site located on an island in Lake Tirkal, in the Republic of Tuva, Russia. This fortified complex, dating from around the 8th century, has baffled researchers due to its isolation and lack of clear evidence about its purpose and occupants. The name Por Bazin translates as mud house in the Tuvan language, reflecting the site's main construction with mud bricks. Por Bazin's design is unusual, with walls up to 12 meters high surrounding a rectangular area of about 3.5 hectares. Within these walls are the remains of several structures, including a central building that some believe could have been a temple or palace. The layout of the site suggests Chinese architectural influences, which has led to theories about its possible use by the Uyghurs, a Turkic group who established an empire in the region during that era. Por Bazin's purpose remains a matter of debate. Some archaeologists suggest that it could have been a military fortress, an administrative center, or even a spiritual retreat. The remote location and lack of everyday artifacts complicate interpretation of the site. Investigations have revealed signs of a fire that apparently destroyed much of the complex, but the circumstances of this event are unknown. Recent excavations and studies, involving advanced techniques such as remote sensing and isotope analysis, 
continued to provide information on Porbazin. These studies have suggested that the site may have been built in a single monumental effort and used for a brief period before being abandoned. Porbazin is not only an archaeological enigma, but also a site of great natural beauty, surrounded by the mountainous landscape and the lake that isolates it. Its mystery attracts both scientists and tourists, intrigued by the untold stories of this ancient construction. Each new discovery at Porbazin offers an additional piece to the historical puzzle, increasing our understanding of the cultures that once inhabited this remote region of Siberia. Number 5. Tawanaku, the Gate of the Sun. Let's stay a while in Bolivia and travel near the famous Titicaca River. Here an ancient settlement of about four square kilometers was discovered that, according to historians, reached its maximum splendor around the year 800 AD. Between 10,000 and 20,000 inhabitants. Numerous objects of historical relevance were discovered, such as monumental structures, decorated ceramics, and megalithic blocks. While the objects were quickly assigned to a people who lived more than 1,200 years ago, the monolith called Puerta del Sol continues to cause speculation to this day. What it is in detail would probably remain unexplained forever, since historians, despite all the research, have not discovered any concrete clues about the meaning and purpose of the monolith. In Bolivian popular belief, the Puerta del Sol is considered a mystical place that connects the world of humans with that of the gods. Number 6. Exploring Nan Madal, the Mysterious Archipelago. Nan Madal, have you ever heard of this place? Probably not, since it is an archipelago in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Although in such remote and paradisiacal corners you could expect only beaches and crystal clear waters, in Nan Madal you will find mysterious stone structures. Among the discoveries are palaces, temples, tombs and homes built between the 7th and 16th centuries AD. The question that arises is, who would need to build something so grand in such a remote place? Scientists believe that the local elite and members of high society lived in Nan Madal, perhaps as a residence for the local government. However, there is something strange, there are practically no sources of fresh water on the archipelago. Is this location suitable for a capital or central government residence? In my opinion, it wouldn't make sense. There is another version that suggests that the Nan Madal complex had a cult and religious significance, which seems more plausible. However, it's still just one version. The complex is heavily damaged, making it difficult to understand its true purpose. Scientists have not yet solved this riddle. Number 7. The Piedra del Pinal, or Penan de Guatapi, is an imposing rock formation in Antioquia, Colombia, which rises 200 meters above the ground and reaches 2,135 meters above sea level. Located 80 kilometers east of Medellin, near the Guatapi Reservoir, this monumental granite stone is one of the main tourist attractions in the region. Thousands of visitors climb it annually, climbing 740 steps in a natural crevice to reach the top. From there, you can enjoy spectacular panoramic views of the reservoir and surrounding mountains, ideal for photography and landscape observation. La Piedra del Pinal has a history rich in legends and territorial disputes between the municipalities of El Pinal and Guatapi. It also has cultural and spiritual significance for local indigenous communities. The area has a developed tourist infrastructure, including restaurants, souvenir shops, and recreational activities such as boating and water sports on the reservoir. This combination of natural beauty, physical challenge, and tourist facilities makes Piedra del Pinal a fascinating destination to explore in Colombia. Number 8. The Great Serpent Mound, if you pass through Ohio, don't miss the opportunity to see the Great Serpent Mound. 
This historic mound measures 91 centimeters high and is a sphinx mound shaped like a snake, giving the impression that the snake, with its tail curled, rests just below the surface of the ground. The site dates back to 1000 AD, and archaeologists believe it may have been used for sacred rituals by the ancient American Indians who lived there at the time. It has not yet been found out who actually created the mound, since during excavations in the area no artifacts of any culture were found. It is presumed that the mound may have been created by the Adena culture due to the three Adena burial mounds discovered nearby. Number 9. Upton's Cave, Upton's Chamber Cave continues to baffle archaeologists because until now no one knows who built it. The cave, located in Massachusetts, is a 14-foot-long tunnel built into a hill that opens out from a forest, and its interior is quite spooky. The tunnel leads to a dark, igloo-like, vaulted underground chamber. What's interesting is that the entrance to the chamber aligns with the sun during the summer solstice, a surprising feature. Some experts believe that the cave was built by a local leather tanner in the 19th century. What is even more mysterious is the fact that more than 300 similar strange stone chambers have been found throughout New England. Archaeologists continue to debate about it. Some believe the caves were built by European settlers, while others believe they were built for ritual chambers by Native Americans of the time. Number 10. Ancient Unfinished Obelisk in Egypt the ancient unfinished obelisk discovered in Egypt is an ancient relic thousands of years old. Found in the quarries north of the city of Aswan, Egypt, it is considered an important and significant archaeological discovery. Carved from the bedrock and being unfinished, the lower part was still attached to the bedrock below. The ancient quarry was found in excellent condition and provided valuable insights into the engineering and stoneworking of the ancient Egyptians. Currently, the site is a protected monument and an open museum.